Okay, so we're in uh, quarantine, safe at home, along with uh, most people. There's my, my daughter there, standing in front of my uh, Conaline, which is another project I have. I just Hi. sold two of my projects. I sold the uh, Buick Century uh, T-Type, which you probably saw in one of my previous videos. And uh, I sold my 1976 AMC Pacer Coupe. So it was a blue one, which I never made a, made a video on. I still have the uh, red Pacer wagon. That thing's not going anywhere. But uh, so both of those to some friends because I brought home a new project. Uh, it's actually I've owned it almost a year. I actually bought it with my tax return last year. But it's actually this past Saturday was the first time I've seen this car, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be a, sort of a long-term project. I don't see myself being able to finish it. Uh, by the end of uh, all this, yeah, it's, I'm gonna have to accumulate some some parts and some pieces, if you will. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna come check this thing out, and Ava Ava really digs it, and we're gonna show it to you right yeah, now. Yeah, I just saw it the first time. I'm like, ooh, it's pretty. So you know, it must be good if Ava <laughs> says it's good. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're uh, we've got the car back here. It's a, a 1959 Plymouth Sport it. Suburban Station Wagon. California car. It's got the uh, 63 issue black plates and it's uh, been off the road since uh, 1991 as far as I can tell according to the uh, last registration sticker. Uh, if you look this car is very... Um, I imagine I'm gonna find some rust since it's a Ford look car but it's 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 very very rust free. Uh, the cover for the uh, spare tire does have a little bit of bubbling there. Nothing too terrible. Any of you guys that know these cars know that these are usually very rust prone these these cars were and it's got the original uh, refrigerator style door handles uh coming inside the car the uh, looks like they took the radio out i've actually got the radio right here so so don't worry i've got the radio they didn't hack the dash for like a like a, a later head unit or anything like that or at least it doesn't appear to be that way and uh if you look steering wheel is not too bad it's got a couple cracks it's got the original uh, rear view mirror that mounts on the dash uh, one of the one of the uh, heater vents there is uh, cracked, um, but overall, I mean, it's not in that bad of shape. Of course, the uh, headliner is completely gone, um, so that's going to have to be redone uh, whenever I get around to it. Obviously, I need to get this thing on the road first before I even think about stuff like that. Haven't uh, pulled up the carpets yet. Let's see. It's. I imagine my friend looked under it when it was at his place. Uh, that, that's just. Some, Something else. He said it wasn't too bad underneath. I think there was a couple uh, spots where it might need to be patched, but nothing terrible. Um, and if you look, it's root beer brown now, but it was originally this lighter color, like a beige or even a creamy white. Uh, it might just be dirty. So you can see more of it uh, right here in these door jams. And uh, I'm actually missing the correct rear hubs. The hubs were off the car when I got it. Um, here's the backing plates, which we have different rear hubs on there now. Uh, we had to take, had, my friend had to take the backing plates off just so we can get the car down here. Unfortunately, there's the old uh, brake shoes. I guess a lot of guys, they, they switch it out with like a uh, A-body uh, uh, rear end so you can get brakes for it. Because uh, the original rear ends for these, you, it's very hard to get brakes for uh but i mean it's a very good project story on it is a friend of mine uh jimmy who actually wound up buying the pacer so he actually dropped this off and then picked up the pacer uh his friend does estate sales and he called as you can see the uh, custom suburban uh script there uh he actually called me and said or he called my friend and said hey i'm doing this estate sale but unfortunately uh there's this Plymouth wagon in the way. See the uh, license plate, last tag 91. And we need the car out of the way just so we can conduct the estate sale. So he offered to him at a good price. Uh, my friend was in, in a, it wasn't in a position to pick up another project, so he offered it to me. And uh, so here it is almost a year later, finally arriving at my house. as the original hand crank for the uh, oh, rear cool. window, which still works. I'm missing the keys though. I gotta get keys made for this car probably after all this nonsense blows over, and the tailgate still opens. What? Yeah, it was it was impressed. Oh, I'm like, huh? So look and look, the bottom of the tailgate, not in bad shape. If you anybody you guys know station wagons, know the bottoms of the tailgates always rust out. This one's not bad. Uh, there's definitely some pieces and parts in the back here. Here's a uh, fuel pump. Um, I'm sure there's some parts here from other cars. 
This looks like a later hubcap <laughs> right off of like a dart or something. Um, but I'm gonna have to go through all this stuff, see what's here and see what's not here. Uh, until I do, uh, I, I'm sure I'm missing stuff and stuff's gonna have to be found or I'm gonna have to go get it, which means not, probably not until all this, uh, our current situation in the world is blows over. All the glass is intact. In fact, none of it's separated. The laminate glass isn't separating, which you see in a lot of cars that sit outside. This car was actually in a garage, so it was at least in a garage since 91, uh, and not outside, which is, probably contributes to the uh, condition. Okay, open the uh, driver's door. Coming in here, you can see the door panels. Those look like they were redone. It doesn't look original, and it's missing the armrest, which may or may not be in the car somewhere. Has an old school uh, 70s. Uh, cruise control, so I'm guessing uh, that someone did a lot of long trips in this uh, turn signal switch Feels like it's working or it's intact um, Has the push-button transmission uh, right there and uh, Someone added an amperage gauge under the dash guessing the uh, oh, these had the idiot lights because this only has a fuel and a temp gauge on the instrument cluster Showing 41,000 miles. So I'm guessing it's 141. It's probably been flipped over and uh, it's not an air-conditioned car. I'm missing the key, so I'm going to have to pull the ignition out. Run it down to a locksmith. Uh, someone's added seat belts at some point. Since uh, 1959, did not have seat belts. And uh, I mean, I see all the glass is in amazing condition. And it all appears to be original glass, uh, including the windshield. It still has the uh, original markings there in the middle of the windshield. And it's got the original uh, style mirror, which... Uh, that might be able to be cleaned up and maybe, maybe re chrome But uh, looking down the bottom here, you can look at the rockers. Uh, rockers, okay, this rocker's a little little crusty right here. A little bit of crustiness going on there. But, I mean, overall, considering these are known to be rust-prone rust cars, so a little bit of bubbling right here, not terrible. Uh, considering that, let's check the rear quarter. Um, a little bit here too. Nothing, like I said, nothing terrible. Um, nothing that isn't fixable. But uh, I'm sure you guys back east uh, who are into these cars are probably like like just amazed at the condition on this car because they are. You do not find these in this condition. Grill and uh, marker, side markers, everything, bumper, all appear in good shape. Uh, this trim here, I'm sure, gets dinged up a lot because it sticks out. Does have a little bit of dings here. Nothing terrible. I think a, a place that redoes stainless could easily get that out. Um, let's try to pop the hood. Oh, there we go. Now this is how I got it. It's uh, missing the carburetor, which is a two barrel carburetor. This is a 318 poly. Uh, distributor's missing. Uh, this car has, let's see, so there's the fuel pump right there. So. Fuel pump in the back, maybe a replacement one, or maybe from a different car. From what I understand, they also had a an early uh, Barracuda as well, which they kept for the family. This car has power steering, and uh, there's there's the brakes. So it's got a, still got the single master, which if I so I don't want to take my daughter out in, I want to kind of upgrade the brakes. There's also some mold right there. Well, that's a mold. No, that's just dirt. No, that's just stuff. green stuff. Green that stuff. Means like that means that means that means it's a oh. uh, it's a green car. It's just like a Tesla. It's very green. It's Good for the environment, it's, right? It's root beer brown. It's root beer brown. So what do you think of the uh, 1959 Plymouth cool. Sports Suburban? I think it's cool because that looks like a snail shell. Okay, that's those are the horns. No, that looks like a snail shell. Yeah, those are horns. Let's check it out. It does look like a snail shell, but those are definitely horns. Um, oh, and also the radiator. It still has the original. Mopar radiator, the uh, Dodge DeSoto Chrysler uh, logo there. And when you look inside, um, oh, I had it open yesterday. Let's see. Okay, it still has fluid in there, so so the block is probably is still holding water. I'm probably going to drain it out. Um, but the uh, I did get the motor to turn by hand, so the motor does still turn. Uh, so I don't know why this was parked. Maybe the carburetor was gunked up. Uh, maybe this maybe there's something wrong with the distributor. I don't have any story on this car Like I said, it came out of a state. It's very likely the last person who worked on this car had passed away um, But it's definitely a good project uh, something I'm looking forward to and uh, it's probably gonna be something 
a little further down the line since this is more of a it needs more than most of my other vehicles and i think the next one i'll work on is the uh yellow uh Kana line since all, I, all i've left on that really do is do some interior stuff on it i've got the interior gutted and i'm gonna leave the patina on that one as Ava closes the hood because now she's a mechanic. Because I'm trying. She's trying. She's trying. I'm not she's, trying. she's gonna pick up a wrench now and start. No, I'm not. <laughs> She'll have this thing running by the end. I of don't the even day. know how to use a key. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh so that's that's about it for the uh, 59 Plymouth project. I figure you guys could use uh, a little uplifting. I know it's been a while since my last video. It's been about a week and a half. I was trying to do it at least once a week. Um the junkyard videos probably aren't going to be happening for a while, even though the junkyard is still open locally. All the yards are updating their inventory. Um, but it's kind of neat to see a cool car. It might be the highlight of your day to see a, a cool 59 Plymouth being saved. But uh, if you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully in the near future I'll be picking up some parts and uh, doing some work on this uh, fine specimen.